Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for October the 5th of 2019, well, it is titled Jupiter and the Moons. So what do we see here? Well, standing out in the upper left is, of course, our moon in a very close to first quarter stage. So still what we would call a waxing crescent, not quite half of the visible portion of the moon illuminated at this point. And the moon, our moon, is one of the large moons of the solar system. And in fact, there are, uh, depending on how exactly how they're classified, you can have about seven really large moons in the solar system. And in this one image today, we do get to see five of those large moons. Now, the largest moons are, of course, our own moon and four moons of Jupiter, which you can see down in the lower right corner here. The brightest dot is Jupiter. And then to its left, we see Ganymede and then Io, Europa, and Callisto down towards the lower right. So those moons are actually visible. They are bright enough to be visible, but hard to see near Jupiter because of Jupiter's brightness. And certainly in a longer exposure like something like this, we can very clearly see Jupiter's four moons, which were uh, first seen by Galileo back in the 1600s. One of the things that he saw when he turned his uh, small telescope to the sky. Now, the other large moons that are not included here would be Titan, the great moon of Saturn, the large moon with an atmosphere, and Triton, the large moon of Neptune, um, also another relatively large moon. And those are classified as the largest moons within the solar system. Now, the one that stands out with those is, of course, our own moon. Our moon is not the largest of these. Three of Jupiter's satellites are larger than us, and Europa is very close to the same size. However, our moon is very large compared to the planet that it orbits. So, while J moons of Jupiter are, are a little bit larger than our moon, they are orbiting an object that is many times larger. So, our moon is about a quarter the diameter of the Earth, very comparable in size, and very unusual among the planetary moons that we see. The only other object that comes close to this would be uh, Pluto with its large moon, which is about half of its size. But among the uh, regular planets, we do not see anything that comes this close. So it makes our moon kind of stand out as compared to the other moons that we see. So that was our picture of the day for October the 5th of 2019. It was titled Jupiter and the Moons. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the Dark Horse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.